a four-ton mammal throwing itself out of the water, then crashing back down on its side, is surely a sign of exuberance, the most basic form of whale communication. To us humans, the underwater world is silent, but in reality, it's alive with sound. When calling each other, through the water across distances of more than 24 kilometers, whales choose the exact frequency window to carry their low frequency sounds most effectively. Southern right whales produce long, low frequency moans for sending messages over extensive stretches of the ocean. These long distance calls seem to serve a specific purpose, to call members of the school. The usual low-pitched sounds are interspersed with higher frequency notes. It is thought that males use higher frequency notes to attract a female and show aggression towards rival males with low-pitched notes. Whales can also produce soprano notes using ultrasonic frequencies. These may help with echolocation, the emission of short bursts of clicks and the interpretation of the returning echoes to gain detailed information about the surroundings and closest food source. Whales are able to remain underwater for extended periods, returning to the surface only to exhale, breathing out in a blast that looks like water but is actually the same as a human's breath, condensing in a cloud on a cold day. To remain underwater, the whale's heart rate slows by half, and as it gets deeper, the water pressure squeezes blood out of the vessels near the skin, which in turn nourishes the vital organs. Dolphins are more social communicators than whales, and each has its own distinct whistle. These social animals keep up an almost constant whistle-click conversation, whether together or apart. Dolphins also echolocate. Their sonar is a series of high-pitched clicks which bounce off solid objects and prey invisible in murky water. But just like humans use their hands to communicate, so do whales. In fact, they use their whole bodies to put their point across. Spy hopping is a term used to describe a whale eyeballing something out of the water. Sticking its tail out of the water is believed to be a form of a whale's calling card. Thrash it on the water, and out goes a loud message no nearby whale could possibly miss. It's called lobtailing, and is believed to send either aggressive or amorous messages. Breaching is exuberant body language, as if the whale were letting off steam. Breaching still confuses most experts, and differing points of view include serious communication between whales, while others believe it is just ridding its body of excess lice and barnacles. Because whales originated on Earth 50 million years ago, and communicate with a specific frequency, it is possible that they have the ability to communicate with elephants. In reality, we mortals really don't fully understand the workings of these sea mammals. But man has only to observe these gentle giants to know that without a doubt, the destiny of those that inhabit the Earth's masses is forever linked to these denizens of the sea.